the theories of everything are, um, I think, conceptually incoherent. The idea that there could be a theory of everything is conceptually incoherent because there's a fundamental misunderstanding that uh, is prevalent among a lot of physicists. Physicists think that the laws of nature explain particular facts. And the laws of nature tend instead to describe general patterns of behavior in nature. Uh, but they don't, um, they may sometimes explain particular facts, but they don't explain all particular facts, and here's why. Um, imagine you have an apple falling from a tree, and you use the law of gravity to describe the motion. Okay, so far so good. But now you also see a rocket ship flying to the moon, and you also use the law of gravity to describe its motion. It's crucial, we needed to know the laws of gravity to be able to put a man on the moon. So the law of gravity is applicable to, describe in, to, in, to describing both of those motions. But there's a big difference in the motions. And the, and the law is not the difference that makes a difference. And to explain why the apple fell as opposed to the rocket ship flying, we need to invoke other factors to explain the to provide an explanation that, it, that, makes, that explains the difference. And the other factor actually has to do with the way that metal was configured and the parts were made to make a rocket ship that had the ability to, to constrain thrust and, and fly. And, um, and so that pertains not to the laws of nature, but rather to the configuration of matter. And what, in a different context, of physicists might refer to as the initial conditions of, of, of the material state. So, so the laws of physics by themselves, the idea of a grand unifying theory was we'd get one law that would explain everything. Well, if the law was so general, if it was even more general than the law of gravity, it will describe aspects of all motions or all events, but it won't explain why one event happened as opposed to another, because it's so general, it applies to everything, and it, is, it can't be a difference that makes a difference between two contrasting uh, event scenarios. So I think I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it, it, it's it's conceptually confused. Is is I, that dying or is interest in that? Uh, I, there's always just interest there. in this among physicists. They, cult, they, they want to reduce the or? four fundamental laws to one fundamental law of physics, and they may succeed in that. Yeah. Although I'm doubtful because uh, for other reasons I could explain. But but even if they did, uh, then they would just have a very general description that applied to every piece of matter and every piece of energy and every every realm of space time but they wouldn't be able to explain why one thing happened rather than another. They wouldn't be able to explain the origin of any biological system. Right. Because that's all, that, that requires explaining how specific configurations of matter arose against the backdrop of the very general laws that don't explain why one configuration as opposed to another is favored.